It's brought to you by allaboutmkim.org, the MKIM's knowledge base. Welcome back. You're watching Dawn News live with Simon Monson. Well, let's uh, take a look now at that uh, Senate Standing Committee on Sports. Uh, allegations about match fixing, uh, and more specifically, how players might have underperformed deliberately during that tour to Australia. Um, well, I'm joined tonight by Senator Dahir Mashadi from the Senate Committee on Sports. Good evening to you. Thanks very much indeed for being with us tonight. Perhaps you can share with us exactly what kind of evidence you have that players deliberately underperformed. Bismillahir Rahmanir uh, Thank you for having me. Yesterday we had this meeting uh, on uh, uh, sports, uh, the performance of the Australian team the dismal performance of the Australian team in um, uh, of the cricket team uh, during the Australian tour. And while the uh, briefing was going on, I must uh, uh, here uh, uh, commend the hard work put in by the Pakistan uh, Cricket Board. They have done extremely uh, well. They have uh, carried out a thorough investigation, which they have recorded on video and on paper with the statements were there which they have given to us also and they showed it to us and we discussed it yesterday. Now going through those um, uh, video recording uh, of the, the uh, statements and the questioning and the question answer sessions and the uh, proof and the way the matches were played and the matches were lost, it became quite apparent that the two, three things were absolutely apparent. One is either Either there was match fixing of the highest order, or the players underperformed, or there was grouping in the team, so the team didn't get on as a, as a national team, so they were all trying to let each other down. Oh, and the, finally they played as individuals and not as a team, and the interests of Pakistan, because they were representing Pakistan, that okay, was so absolutely... Let's talk about this video that you say that you've been shown. What exactly was in that video what did you see uh, in the video they actually they showed us the complete uh, inquiry the way they conducted the inquiry they've done it in a very transparent manner and a very and a very thorough manner there was the question and answers for by the uh, uh, pcb board they asked the uh, management which was there in australia with them they asked the players they asked the captain they asked all the concerned people there and then, uh, you see, you had to link it with uh, certain incidents on the cricket field. You are winning so a what, match what exactly and suddenly he runs it? and uh, you so got Mr. Uh, what exactly made an over. What exactly in that video, Senator Mashadi, shows you? And the Mr. ball Mr. is in somebody's you. hand and it just remains there and the uh, opponent batsman is stranded in the middle and he still doesn't get him out. So once you link it, you see, a match fixing is such a technical thing that you're never going to get a smoking gun or you're never going to catch them actually taking the money. You have to go. So this is what we, in the interest of cricket, we want clean cricket, good cricket, and we wanted cricket on merit. We have a fantastic crop of young players waiting on the sidelines. We want them to be given a chance on merit. And if any of these senior players think they are indispensable, they should remember that the graveyards of the world are full of indispensable people. We cannot have, uh, we must have zero tolerance as far as anything of these four things, underperformance, okay, uh, grouping, or letting your team down, or letting Pakistan down is absolutely unacceptable to the people of Pakistan. Okay, Senator Mashadi, I'm hope you, hoping you can hear me. I was asking you specifically uh, uh, what exact evidence do you have of perhaps match fixing. Uh, you, you mentioned some footage that was shown to you of uh, catching balls and holding on to balls or not catching balls deliberately. Is that uh, perhaps Garman Akmal you were referring to? No, I'm talking about generally. I'm not specifically mentioning well, anyone. But you've seen the video. I'm asking you what was in the video. To more into the uh, further details, we want a complete and thorough, because PCB is the responsible organization they are handling the matter, the matter in a very responsible manner. They have started punishing players um, for various uh, uh, omissions and commissions committed, but these um, piecemeal type of punishments, if there is, if 
because uh, they must prove it beyond a shadow of doubt. We don't want to witch hunt anybody. We don't want okay. a again, career, career of players destroyed or anything just because of whim or likes or dislikes or favoritism. Uh, uh, we, justice, we, we, want once again. we want justice for the people of Pakistan. Okay, but there's still some confusion because the Senate Sports Committee, which holds the PCB and, and its sportsmen accountable, has said that it has seen evidence of match fixing or underperforming. I want to know exactly what that is. You've still not told us exactly what that is. No, actually that's what I'm going to explain, that there, there will be none. no smoking gun. There will be no proof, solid proof, which I can give to you, Saima. It, this is something that is a uh, Crony case and uh, uh, Az Azruddin case and these cases are before us. Then the uh, Kayum uh, Commission of Pakistan is before us where certain Pakistani players were banned for life. Then there are other players who were uh, banned for little while periods and they have been let off. Now this is why because you can't get that absolute proof. We just cannot take the risk as far as the Senate committee as an oversight body is concerned. We saw that there was something drastically wrong on the Pakistan tour of Australia. There is no doubt whatsoever about that. Now once those things were wrong, underperformance definitely it was there. Letting down each other, that is definitely down there. Now if you take match fixing in the broader context, even if you don't play as a team, or you try to uh, 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 run out somebody, or you uh, miss a catch, or this, that, the other, intentionally to harm the result of the game, that will also, in the broader sense of it, go. But we don't want tolerance of that. We will not tolerate that because we uh, are capable of producing the world's best cricketers. We produce the Bhani Pradhan, we produce Zaheer Abbas, we produce Imran Khan, we produce Wakar Yunus. We have uh, the Mustaq Muhammad. You see, we uh, the list doesn't end. We have no, got doesn't. fantastic. Let, let's just uh, talk about uh, the it Senate must Committee be given on Sport. Opportunity. Let, let's just talk about your committee and how, how much it, it is very confident, because it sounds a little flimsy. On the one hand, uh, you, you've come out, and you and the rest of the committee have come out and specifically said that we have evidence uh, or, or we are investigating match fixing, but then on the other hand, you're not willing to name players or specific incidents. But this sounds very flimsy. And, and no, no. it's almost like the Senate committee cannot really commit itself either way and, and, and is making very mixed and very serious allegations. Actually, this is the very reason why we want more, more thorough uh, investigation. This is the very reason why we want, we want the uh, Pakistan Cricket Board to come out and tell the people of Pakistan specifically and for once and for all, we have no desire whatsoever to witch hunt. We want them to come out with the facts. They came out, they said that we are going to ban certain players for life. They later on changed it that no, that is, they are banned for indefinite. Nobody gets banned for uh, bad performance. Nobody gets banned for bad behavior. The banning for life is very, very clear why it's done. Now, if the Pakistan Cricket Board has also been instructed or requested or uh, indicated by the ICC, we want that to come out and that to be told to the nation. Now, if they have not, then what we have seen and what we have heard in that committee definitely indicates that all is not well in the Pakistan cricket. And okay, perhaps so you we can enlighten us then. Uh, doubt, that shadow of doubt to be removed, and so that the people of Pakistan can really get to know. You see, we are, we are a very emotional uh, nation. We love our cricket, and we love our cricketers. We give, treat them as heroes, and we want our heroes to remain as our heroes. But if they must give back to the nation what they have taken from the nation, the nation makes them. They must make the nation also. That okay. is why now let's we talk want about the specific and fans. clear uh, picture of this to come let, out let, and uh, to uh, get it clarified. Let's talk about these specific bans and, and uh, fines, for example. You've presumably been reviewing that with the PCB and there's been this inquiry. Why then was Yunus Khan and Muhammad Yusuf uh, give a, a recommended not sport selection and then Shweb Malik and Rana Naveed give 
Now, uh, first of all, I personally clarified about uh, Shahid Afridi. I asked this question in the meeting. Personally, I asked about this. I said, Shahid Afridi, uh, I want to know, is, did he do anything wrong on this tour other than that uh, bowl tampering? Because for the bowl tampering, he had been punished.